Welcome back to another Cool Loser Tech video. These are the best apps of the week, so let's get it on. And you know how it goes. The best live wallpaper of the week, it is called African Sunset. You got elephants flying through, rhinos, birds in the background. You can see the sun rays kind of glistening. You can see that the background moves along with it as well. I like the colors of this live wallpaper. I know they don't move realistically, but it's still a pretty cool live wallpaper. Alrighty, now let's get to the best apps of the week. And now I'll start it off with AIVC. Now this is an application you guys are gonna really like. Those of you guys who know lots of those Siri apps, this one has to be one of my favorites out there. And let's give this a test run. This is the light version, so you can do everything on it. What's the weather like today? The weather will be rain between 46 and 61 degrees today. Voice was very clear. Now I can ask you a whole bunch of different things too. What's 100 times 2? 200. And there you go. So you can ask it questions just like that. Google NBA playoff scores. Awesome. You can have conversations with it. Let's say, how are you doing today? I am doing very well. How are you, Mr. Cool Loser? Text Kyle. I will see you later tonight. Send. Okay. Message sent. You could also tell it to open applications. Open Hulu app. Okay. Starting Hulu Plus. And you can see it opened it up right there. There's lots of more features you can do through there. Remind me in five minutes to call my mom. This is only possible in pro version. As you can see, the left you out so you can buy more features. It's really cool. It's worth it. I don't see why you wouldn't try it out for yourself. Next up, we have Songify. Songify is a really cool application because it will record what you're saying. You just have to talk and it will actually auto-tune and make your voice go into the beat and it'll just figure it out to make it into a song. It's really cool. So I just have to say, please rate, comment, and subscribe and always spread the word of the cool loser. Please do it to it. So I just recorded what I just said right now. You can see it's going through. Songify is a really cool application because it will record what you're saying as a conversation that you just have to talk and it will actually auto tune and make your voice go into the beat and it'll just figure it out to make it into a song. It's really cool. So I just have to say, please rate, comment, and subscribe and always spread the word of the cool loser. And it will actually auto tune and make your voice go into the beat and it'll just figure it out to make it into a song. It's really cool. So I just have to say, please rate, comment, and subscribe and always spread the word of the cool loser. Go into Resongify and you will see that you got lots of different beats. And this side you can see all the previews to listen to what the beat's gonna be if you wanna buy one. And let's say I wanna do this one and Resongify. Songify is a really cool application because it will record what you're saying, figure it out to make it into a song. It's really cool. So I just have to say, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and always spread the word of the cool loser. You can save the song, email it, send it to someone's text message, or set it as your ringtone. Pretty cool application. Definitely go have fun with this app. Do it to it. Here next we have Easy Droid. Managing your tasks. As you can see here, these are the applications that are running. If I want to end this stuff, kill selected, and all those applications that were running is killed. Now here's the thing. I totally forgot about task killers until this application came with it. I don't use them anymore on Ice Cream Sandwich. I don't think you need them. But if you know it does help you improve your battery or speed of your phone, then go ahead and end your application. This little area is to uninstall applications. It's going to be great because once you start clicking on all of these, just like this, press uninstall. And it'll take it to this little area and I'll press OK and it'll uninstall it. The next one will come. Now go over to the next side, apps to SD. Which applications can be sent to your SD card? I never even sent these applications to my SD card. I don't keep all the apps that I have for very long. I just review it for you guys and then I stick to the ones that I always have. You can check it out on my website at andrewsavage.com to know which exactly apps I'm keeping on my phone. Again, androidsavage.com. You can click on these little buttons right here that'll take you to where the app info is. You can force stop, uninstall, clear data. You can click on that and it'll say moving this app to SD maybe cause it to not work properly. Don't move your widgets to your SD card because they don't work that way. And the last part right here, 
We have phone status, phone memory, your SD card. Go try it out for yourself. Next up, we have Honeygram. Those of you guys who have Instagram, you're gonna know what this application is about. All your Instagram pictures and followers and new people and is a cool new little look to it. You can see all these little tiled pictures. As you can see, that's in my feed. So these are all the people who I follow. Click on my picture right there. You can see me and my guy. You can see people's comments right through here. You'll have to log in, of course, to do it. Pictures that I've liked, um, all the stuff of mine. Go by locations to see what's in your area what's popular these are popular pictures like i said you can click on them this is a little extra feature to interact with your photos check this out and most of the photos that you already saw on the popular will start popping up through here and you can like grab these pictures and move it around just to look at them i mean i really don't see the big use of it but it is pretty cool because it just gives you something to do and mess around and show off your phone. You can't really click into them. Like I tried to figure it out. Like, what do you do? How do you click into them? But you can select it and press save. And it saves to gallery, save, and share or instructions. Try it out for yourself. Next up, we have light flow. For the people who have LED notifications, can't really tell that there's a little indicator right there for when I get a text message. It'll be a little light right there. But this application goes deeper for the people who can't change it to different colors. We can go to general settings. So you'll have to read it all to let you know how it's gonna work and how to start it. Notifications, here we have it. Add a contact. So if you wanna have like a certain contact, let's say my dad's gonna call me, I'm gonna have a blue text message indicator telling me, and I'll be like, oh, I got a text message and it's probably my dad because it's blue. If I wanna set my mom for pink, I can set her, you know, you get the point. But missed calls, you can see it's on red. And then calendar reminders, orange, yellow for email, text messages. I can left that off so you can see enable notifications. If I enable that, options here to change. And this is also a pop-up, get a little pop-up notification, test notification, and you will see test mode enabled. You saw it right there. So that is the message. Give this application a try. Go set it up for yourself. Here next we have color splash. Here in the main menu, start new session. And we see save sessions where I actually edited the other photos. And let's click on this one. It'll jump you right to it. And you see it just faded all the colors except for his part right there. That's because I chose that to be the only color. All the colors are going to fade to black and white. And this will actually, you know, let's, let's color in right here. And you see the color starting to pop out. Let's zoom in closer. It's coming out here. And let's keep touching here. And you see the coloring right there. But let's say you want to take some off and start you know, fixing it with doing it that way. If you want to see all the little marks that you've actually worked it in, you can click on this. You can see exactly all the little spots that you've been coloring in. Pretty cool to make your photos pop out with one color, upload them to Instagram, share them, whatever you want to do. Try it out for yourself. Next up, we have My Piano. This is a really cool application because you can record and choose different sounds and it's really accurate with pressing your key. Check it out. Two finger touch, three finger touch, four finger touch, five finger touch. So it has multi-touch if your phone supports that. Check it out. I'm going to record. Waka, 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 wiki, wuku. So now watch. Waka, 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 wiki, wuku. Waka, 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 wiki, wuku. Waka, 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 wiki, wuku. <laughs> so you can see you mess around with there. So let's click on up here. Choose different sounds. Let's go this one. Click on this little refresh looking type of thing. Start recording. Mm -hmm. Press stop and let's press play. Let's go into your menu and you will see you can save the item, load items to effects. You see reverb, at echoes, different enhancements there. And then you go into settings and you got lots of little features right here. Piano skin, change the piano keys. If you want more of a keyboard to show up. Play, so you can fully customize your little keyboard. Pretty cool. I don't see why you wouldn't try it out. Just have fun with it. Next up, we have familiar pictures. Now this application is for the families. You have friends in it, you know, just like people who are 
wanting to share uh, group family stuff so it's not like on Facebook or you know how to post that everyone who has like an Android phone or this application I don't know if it's an iPhone or not but you can share pictures together in one little account family members can check it out and here's all the like love pictures like if my friend posted a picture of his kid throwing up on the mom's chest or something <laughs> I can be like oh I like this photo and they'll show all the photos that I really liked Go into here, you will see the pictures that I uploaded. I just click on that. As you can see up here, there's information and you can caption right here. Delete the photo, see all your family stuff. Just go read the description when you get this application. It'll tell you more about it than what I'm doing. You go into your menu, you go to settings, see more options here, push notifications. So whenever your family member or friend posts a picture, it'll be like, hey, check the picture out. So yeah, try it out for yourself. And last but not least, we have Uvu. Uvu is an application for video chatting. Signing in, you don't have any contacts because I'm a loser. I didn't test this out with anybody. I'm not gonna keep this and I don't wanna like go completely official with this application. But in the comments and in the description, it's all legit, it's pretty cool. A lot of people on here, to some of you guys don't wanna use Skype or all the other little different applications out there that do video calling. You might like this one better. You can call people from here. You can see all your history stuff. You can IM each other, send messages back and forth. Go into your settings and you can see the name on my online application settings, my account. It shows the full screen of the person you're talking to with your little screen up here with your face. Something for you guys to try and see how it works for you. And there you guys have it. These are the best apps of the week right off Google Play, brought to you by me, the cool loser. And as always, please rate, comment, and subscribe to my videos. It makes a big difference. And I did love that you guys started like rating my video, my last one, my games one. I got more than I usually do because I asked you guys to please remember to rate and it was awesome. Whenever I can reply, I'll reply to your comment. If I miss yours, don't be upset. I might respond on another different video, but I love you guys all for being here. And I shall see you guys on Thursday for the best games of the week. Later.